you have 83,000 kids participating uh, in a very worthwhile activity over a summer time. Uh, they learn a new set of skills. Uh, they're engaged with their with their friends. We have 50 extra camps this year, going up to approximately 1,000, which is phenomenal. So we're likely to exceed our overall capacity last year of 83,000 people. So that's a remarkable achievement. People like, even even sort of say to me, oh, I never enjoyed this up, we took it far too seriously. I love football, like, it's just something like, you know, I, I miss it so much at the minute, like that, you know, I'm not out to the play in there. And the reason I kept going back to it and training so hard was because I loved it, like, and enjoyed it so much. And I think is that's what we have to sell to our kids, like, you know, don't make it a chore for them, don't make it like, you know, support them maybe the parents sort of see that, like, and not to sort of push them sort of too hard, that like, it's, it's just something you go and support them at, like, and you know, tell them they're doing well, and like, they want to get back out like, and show their parents that, like, that they're trying hard, like, so that, that, that's, they'll just turn around and say, see what I did, daddy, see what I did, like, and I have a young fellow of my own now, like, and it's, uh, you know, it'd be great to see him in a couple of years doing that there, so, you know, I, I still think the key, the key to it all is just to get them out there and enjoying it. Like, to, to coach soccer, you know, at the very start, it's basic enough, like, teach them to kick it in front of them, run after and kick it again, with hurling's a totally different ball game. Gaelic, obviously, more skillful again when you have to catch and and the fist pass and all the rest that goes with that. So, yeah, I just think it's it's the getting the basics done properly at the start and it gives them a great chance in life to develop. We know that the coaches that young people are working with are the right people to be working with, good qualified coaches, very high standard, and will be, be working with kids in a safe and sound environment. That's very, very important to us. Our health is determined in our youth um, and in our childhood to a certain extent, particularly with you know with the growth of childhood obesity. And we live in a in a world where kids have loads of other activities. We live in a digital virtu virtual world. They don't necessarily have to go out. And anything that encourages sporting activity and encourages children to keep at it, we believe is vital. Uh, we believe that any child that's uh, fully involved in sport is likely to be a healthier adult and long term have a healthier life. We have Leach and Sunday, like, um, it's a bit sort of stuttery this year, you know, like we've had some good games, some not so good, but uh, getting there, like getting a few people back from injuries and some things like that there, so it's, you know, it's good. I enjoy it, like the great bunch of fellas, um, training like, you know, hard and uh, we have Leach uh, Saturday night with local derby. And, it should be should be good crack. It's been very much um, Jekyll and Hyde for us overall. Now I'd be disappointed, you know, but this Sunday is another day. You know, we've Cork on Sunday. They haven't been beaten yet, and uh, they look nailed on now to be getting to the league final. They look to be the, the, the real form team at the moment, coming off a great victory against Kilkenny and, and in a massive match, obviously in Dungarvan at the weekend. They have a lot of young lads coming through as well, like Colin Lockton, the way he's hurling, and so it's a, it's a huge game. If we're not up for it, we'd be blown away.